Hello! We're going to look now at uh, selection and the very, very basic selection tool that's probably the first invented, which is simply to draw a line around things. And for this, we have the uh, lasso here tool here. This is, if you right click it, it's in amongst these things, you might not see it on the menu at the bottom there, the freehand selection tool, or just the selection tool there, lasso, because up here we've got freehand. Next, we've got poly polygonal, which is click, click, click. And then we've got the magic magnetic ones. We'll look at those later uh, in other videos. But first of all, this one, we're just going to look at the freehand. So just worrying, first of all, here about just adding this. All the freehand lasso does is wherever you draw it, it'll draw it. And you can get a selection like that. And if we undo that, a uh, thing to note about it is when you first click and hold down, when you start moving, the blue circle appears. And then when you stop and let go of the left mouse button, you get the circle completed. And then you've got a selected area, which you can treat in various ways. The problem with the freehand um, selection is that if I wanted to draw around this this steer here, I could wiggle like this, and it's you know, and I'm wiggling away. And if I just somewhere, I just remember my mouse is falling off, or something. I can't got to the end of the mouse mat, and I let go. I know I've only selected a bit of it because it just draws a line back to there. You know, we have other selection tools which we typically use for the large areas like that. So, you know, like the selection brush and so on. Um, with the selection brush, let's make that a bit bigger. It's pretty good. Whoa, there we go. We go lots and lots and lots. But even when we do this, you don't always get anything. There's a bit missing over there. We can play with that. But that's the sort of thing that you can use the freehand brush for. So let's move that over here a bit. So if we go back to the brush and we can just say, oh, we need to just add a bit in here. So we've got add selected here. And we'll just go along here. And this is just with the mouse. If you've got a tablet, it's even better. Then I'll come down here. As long as I can, the from the point I finish, I can see a straight line to the original blue dot. I let go. And it's added that bit in there. And I can do the same here. Because if you keep fiddling around with the selection brush, you find it's not clever enough to figure it out. So these last few things, a little bit of freehand addition works quite well. So that's one use, practical modern use for, for doing it. And um, sometimes as well, if we look at this cow at the back, if we wanted to get that one, Try the selection brush on that. Let's reduce it down. We sort of go, it's going to get it there. And oop, suddenly it just can't cope. It's just suddenly shot out and it's selected everything because it doesn't know where to stop, where the edges are. And that sort of thing, again, you might want to... We can use the freehand brush to... So do that. Uh, click on the freehand brush again. If I want to move the picture here, by the way, I'm just holding down the space bar and notice the cursor turns into a hand. I've got a quick way of moving it. So, so I can then start moving, drawing around this, etc. With a bit of practice is quite good. If you've got a tablet, it's usually a lot easier, particularly when you're used to it. And best of all, if you're drawing on something like a Microsoft Surface uh, or an Apple iPad, then you can literally, literally draw around the thing you're doing. So you notice here, when I finish here, I didn't finish with the line of sight to the start, so it might have got an odd area selected here. Uh, a way of, of doing this, another way, is in 
by doing it in bits you can't do it all together so literally I'll sort of you know just quickly go uh, around like this and then go oh there's a bit here because I've got add selected I can always do here if I want to take a bit out I hold down the alt key which is the same as clicking subtract and go just around a bit here to take out and I literally add a bit at a time like this yeah, and so on all the way around and literally you're adding a bit um, an alternative sometimes which is can be easier is to draw around the whole thing yeah just sort of kind of roughly near the edge and be, then be subtractive so hold in the alt key is I'm just going to go around the outside of this See, I'm, I'm actually carving away the outside. And a way to do this, um, which is often easier, is to use the quick brush. So I hit Q, and this, yeah, I can see what I've got. I can then take the ordinary paint tool, and I, I've got I've got the colours here. Then, if I got the black. Then it's going to paint in the or paint effectively painting away the selection. So I can just literally use that to paint that final bit around here. And if I overpaint it, I can just switch the colours and sort of like put a bit back. So that's another thing you can do. Effectively, you're doing it additively or subtractively. And finally, a quick tip is that if you want to delete something in other words you want to erase something paint something away um, you can do something like use the in painting but another way of doing it is to use this tool draw just all the way around it you know roughly and the roughness actually helps because it gives a random ending to it and then just go edit in paint and with a bit of magic, ping, it's gone. There we go. Hardly noticeable. Okay, that's a few uses for the freehand brush. So, thanks for watching.